them and demonstrating their The support we get from parents who come to school day after day is obviously crucial if we want to be able to provide this kind of individual education. Yeah. We simply couldn't exist with this kind of program unless we had active parent involvement. It doesn't have to be a real picture of the outside way it is. It has to be a real picture of the inside way it is, okay? I'm asking you to draw a picture of what your room feels like to you. As a parent, I was looking for a school program where I could have some direct contact with my daughter and, and her peers, have a, an ongoing flow between the teachers who are spending a lot of time with my daughter and, and ourselves, our family. Now I want you to draw a picture of the place where you will be living in five years. Oh, no. If you don't know where you're going to be living in five years, guess. Okay. And if you can't guess, make it up. One thing about the open classroom that I really like is that there is less of a distinction between school and the rest of your life. With parents coming in, the line is getting fuzzy between who's a teacher and who's a parent and who's a student, you know, who's there to learn and who's there to teach. I learn when I'm here, and I teach when I'm here, you know. It's, a, it's, a, it's an open process in the full sense of the word. Each child develops at his own pace. The teachers couldn't do this if we weren't here to assist them. And I do, I do lots and lots of different things with the kids like taking them on the hike today and, and having them read to me, playing word games, math games, spelling games, helping Molly in the art area. It's stimulating. There's, there's so many things going on. Fresh bread in the classroom this morning that some parents brought in. And, you know, I've, been, I've seen kids going off to somebody's house to learn how to cook and um, other parents coming in with other projects. It just seems to me it's more an integral part of the whole process of living. We are all involved together in the education of all our children. I've always been really afraid that kids get turned off to learning. And in this school, it looks to me like that's not happening. To the bottom of the reef, nothing is alive. It's just the very top that has the living animals. They keep building up higher and higher. and. They stretch out. Here, if somebody comes in and speaks about something, you know it's uh, somebody's dad in your neighborhood. You know who they are. The kids can really relate to them as part of their community. Aside from the, the regular teachers, they have all types of people that can come in and teach them things and share with them different knowledge. But this is actually the shell. What you see is the shell that the coral builds to protect its body. It's just a tiny little thing. This morning is our version of uh, the wood shop. We've been dealing with the younger kids on this with the, the basic skills of hammering and sawing and drilling and uh, coupled with their imaginations and whatever they can put together with the wood scraps that we've managed to accumulate. As a carpenter, I like to pass along anything I know, and the returns, particularly in the instance of children, always outweigh the things that you give to them. I love it. I've been doing it for about eight years. I come in regularly every Monday morning for handwriting. I finally, after, um, what, six, seven, eight, well, Kira started here like eight years ago. I found something I really like to do, handwriting. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. I'm a good handwriting, and the kids can tell that in me, you know. They, they can see I'm good. They just, I found my slot in the open classroom on Monday mornings. The format, structure, and program of the open classroom encourages parents to be a, an active part of their children's education, having parents in the classroom as often as possible and asking families to give part of their time every month is a way of saying that this process is not isolated. Education is not isolated in a building for five hours a day. It's, it's a lifelong process. Like this now. Just on the makeup itself. Originally, the Lagunita School District